Hi. Do you want to know what I think about Portland, Oregon? In the Portland area? Would you like to know what I think? Or is it important? I'll tell you. And if you're from this area, I, I mean, no offense, okay? It's just I'm from the country, from the other side of the country also, and I'm not used to all this brutal looking architecture. Everything is gray and it looks like this. This is a great example of that building right there. It almost looks like sea land containers put together. I mean, it looks like it's just not cool man I don't like it and the whole city is like that it has so many of these types of buildings that's not my thing and there's not a lot of old architecture left there is some that I've seen but okay so you got that you you have some strange architecture the homeless thing is is a real thing it's a real scary thing that I've noticed. So we we saw a lot of stuff. I won't even go into what all I've seen, what I saw last night, because it's not even, I wish I didn't see it. But I also saw a guy, we saw a guy in the middle of the day, the day before with a K bar, which is a military knife and it's huge i think they're like eight or ten inch knife a k-bar and he was sharpening a stick with it and he looked very mentally unstable and yeah so you got the homeless problem and that is legit and i and you see homeless camps all over the side of the roads, highways, um, which is, I mean, you know, I don't even care about that. I don't, nobody cares about homeless as far as, like, if a city has it or not, except that it's so many and it's so dangerous. And all the storefronts are closed. And I went to the Columbia clothing store and they had an armed security guard in front, inside the store. And I was kind of shocked. So I talked to him a little bit about it. And he said, if you can't afford to have a security guard, like they've been closed down because they've been vandalized. They've been robbed. They've been shot. They've been, um, the homeless people just hanging out and, and, ruining their business and if they can't afford security guards to keep them away then they end up going out of business and there was like hardly any downtown businesses like you can see they're gone and you can also see where things have been destroyed you can see where windows were busted in brand new buildings and like where they just had to repair it all i mean it's like ridiculous And you hate that because those are the local businesses. So there's that aspect. And those were all the downfalls. So I'd say the city of Portland is, unless you're really into cities, you know, and what they offer, you know, go stay outside the city. <laughs> I would and then go check out what the Columbia River Gorge has to offer because that is worth being out here <laughs> that's all I can say is I felt like if I I've been to Hawaii once and if Hawaii was cold it felt like it felt like it could be the same as Hawaii in parts of it like the not the north shore but maybe it's the east shore the jungly wet side of it 
that's what it felt like it felt just like that with the waterfalls and and just the basalt column rock and yeah felt like Hawaii just some different plants but they're all still huge and uh, rainforesty just different and love the views I mean it was incredible so yeah that's worth coming out here and I'm sure other types of you know all I've got to do is a little bit of hiking but yeah water sports galore so and there's new trees here so they're they don't have rats running around the streets or maybe they do but they also have those new trees because a guy at the conference that my hubby's here with or you know part of they uh he was like he saw a homeless guy move and all of a sudden all these giant rats come all out from underneath this guy's coat i was like what well so i started looking at this book this portlandy portlandness portlandness and there's new trees here. That's what he saw. So I had to tell him that they weren't just like nuclear rats. They were actually something different. <laughs> so recap. Homeless problem is, is real. You're going to see some crazy stuff. Architecture is brutal weather's pretty brutal but the views right outside of the city definitely make it worth coming and I would say if you've ever seen the movie um, Elf with Will Ferrell and the only advice he got from Santa was if you see chewing gum on the sidewalk don't pick it up and chew it okay so if you come to Portland and you see a sky tram and you go to it don't go ride it okay unless you want to go to the Shriners Hospital because it's not a tourist trap or maybe it is a tourist trap but it got us and we got on it and we went up and we're like oh cool where are we going oh we're going to Shriners Hospital oh snap so if you see a sky tram escalator and you think that'd be a fun touristy thing to do don't do it peace